The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. It must be very exciting to put a video up on the Tiki Talks and mm. for it to go viral. Mm. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. a really great feeling. Sometimes mm. it's good and sometimes it's bad, though, Nathan. Yeah, it no, depends on the response, I guess. Yeah, Sarah is being torn apart. <laughs> torn apart worldwide. Um, she uh, was... She started a bit of a debate, right? So she was going to uh, try and go... I think it's a course or, um, like, she was trying to get into something and she was doing an interview, right? Yep. And she was very insulted by the response for one of her questions because she's a sufferer of something. Uh, this is going to go for about a minute, but I want to hear exactly what happened with um, Sarah and you decide maybe why she's being torn apart. So I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time? And then the person I was with interrupted and acted like I was asking something else. And then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist. And if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job. And then they're like, you're stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time no. when there's other solutions that we can look to. I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that. Yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. What? And then I asked that person, how can you feel good about yourself upholding this kind of system? And then to think I'm entitled. No, if people think it's okay to treat others like this, uh, that's entitlement. Look, that's entitlement. Look, there, that, there are jobs in the world that require you to be on time and there are jobs that don't go and be a farmer that way you don't have to ever be on time you can just live in your own world my favorite farming's great my favorite was the fact that she was the person that she was applying to be part of their company or course or whatever um i I just like the fact that (laughs) she's saying they're entitled i just like the fact that she wants them to work with her yes they have not let her in yet but i want you to work with her because you know i'm going to be late and you need that's that's not my problem that's our problem that's right well no you need to accommodate it no you need to accommodate people who have a disability. Yep. That's what you need to yep. accommodate. Yep. But you don't need to accommodate somebody who just can't get their shit together now, enough to turn up to work on 100% time. 100% now. They are saying that um, that people that are... Um, time blindness is not an actual, you know, thing. No, no, no. But they're talking about it's ADHD. Not, they're they're saying that it's associated with ADHD. Yeah, so neurodivergence. But, but you I'm telling that. you right now, Sarah doesn't um, uh, suffer from ADHD. And I know that for a fact because the person that she's referring to that um, said to her that she is a stupid generation and is going to destroy the workplace was her mum. <laughs> <laughs> so while she was doing the interview on Zoom, her mum was sitting next to her, heard what she said and couldn't hold it in and went to her. Yes. Show me the person uh, who suffers from ADHD that's always late and uses that as an excuse, not one person. No, they don't. No. Yeah. no. But late people, oh, my God. Oh, well, everybody knows one. There's one in everybody's life. It's just so rude to think that you... Um, it's perfectly acceptable to make people wait for you as though other people's time is not worth anything. That's what lateness yeah. is. That's what it does to people. My dad is... Australia's worst. Really? I reckon he's got a black belt in this. No right. doubt about it. So uh, we, we have a thing. Uh, if we have we the worst one I've had was um, say say christenings and stuff like that when we have to be on yes. uh, at church on time. Yes. We will always tell him it's half an hour to forty five minutes earlier. So that he he will he get will there be in there time. on time. On Wednesday I went to a funeral just two sleeps ago, mm. and he came in about fifteen minutes late, and I thought that was brilliant. Mm. for him to be able to get there halfway through the speech. So why is he late? Is it that he doesn't uh, allow for traffic or he just gets uh, gets stuck talking to somebody? We couldn't is... give a shit. Oh, so he just doesn't care. <laughs> I think I'm, it's I the mean, right answer. A funeral doesn't matter because it's going to happen anyway. Hold if on, he gets there brother. late, it doesn't yes, matter. It's about mum and dad for sure. <laughs> he, he didn't even know who I was talking about. Ben, 100%. Uh, 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 well, so dad's a classic. When can we used I... to have parties when people, you know, we knew mum and dad were going out, we're underage. Yeah. Yes. Go, yeah, all the boys come around, mum and dad going out. But we had to take in consideration that dad wouldn't leave oh, and be yeah, at the right. wedding and all the oh, right. birthday party on yes. time. So everyone had to stay in like uh, in the bushes. In the gangway or the bushes until they had to go. Can I raise you my friend Robin, who famously, she's always late, and famously once we, there was a group of us, about six of us arranged to go out for lunch, Mm -hmm. and we uh, say we were meeting at 12.30, and uh, the other five of us got there at 12.30, and we're like, well, Robin's coming, so we'll just wait until she gets, we won't order until she gets there. She was 45 minutes late, and then she sits down, and we're like, okay, we can order now, what did you want? She went, oh, no, I've eaten. (laughs) (laughs) She was late, because she was eating before she came to lunch. We're like, what? And she didn't even text and say, hey, I'm running late. Why don't you order? Everybody. Time blindness is apparently a thing. 
question mark. Uh, we want to talk about whether... If you are the person always running late, I'd love mm. to jump into your head and work out what's mm. going on. But also, if you have a late person in your life, how bad does it get? What yes. is the worst time that you've been waiting for somebody? We're going to give somebody $300 to spend at Morris Mead. Oh, come on. Turn up on time for your Turn appointment, though. Turn up on though. time. Book Don't now keep them waiting. And get $50 off three or more Kerastars products. Nathan, nailed the Thank pronunciation you, of Kerastars. Kerastars. Beautiful work. All right, you know those people. Now they've got a term for it, time blindness. Time but really, blindness. they're just chronically late people. <laughs> Katrina, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi Katrina. Katrina. Who's the late person, Katrina? So it could be a family member, but I may say family friend. Okay. Um, okay. Just don't want to dob anyone in. We agreed to catch up for brunch. We both have small children, mm. um, like a, say a two-year-old, three-year-old, and uh, just not too newly born, but you yes. know under under five months. Yep. Um, and we all agreed to catch up for breakfast at Perth City Farm or a place like that. We can go out and get like a market food and sit yes. down. Yeah. And. Um, we agreed, say, 9.30. We're like, cool, we can all do that. Yes. And we got there smidge early because I hate being late. I want to find parking, know where I'm going. A bit anxious like that. Yes. And then they said, we're 10 minutes late. And I was like, that's normal. That's really good for them. They're normally like 20 minutes, 30 minutes yeah. late. Yeah. Um, an hour and a half later, they eventually <gasps> rocked up. What, so when they said they're 10 minutes late, like, obviously it's a I think a they meant they're 10 minutes late to leaving home. Yeah. I'm not sure. We, we kept checking the clock and we messaged, like, you guys okay? Like, did you break down? Did the kid crack it and you have to pull over? Like, I don't, I just, yes. we didn't know. So we, my kids cracked it because they were hungry, so we stopped and we all ate. Yes. And, and we then, would have and to. Then, yeah, then we finished eating and then they rocked up. Katrina, were they coming then, from Northern by any chance? Or <laughs> were they from a, Possibly. They may so have taken a detour. What did they, what did they say? Um, just hi. N- nothing. Oh, okay. Really. So, so there's no apology. There's no sorry we're late or mm, uh, the traffic Not really. Or... Usually we... Usually we just skim over it and then they're like, okay, we're going to get some food now. So then we watch them eat breakfast. I do sometimes I get, get people that are late because, like, uh, when I have to get to something, right, sometimes, and like, constantly at my house, there'll always be something on Netflix just playing in the background. And then at that moment where, like, it's, say I've got to be, uh, say, 20 minutes it'll take me to get there. Yep. That thing on it, Netflix becomes so interesting. And it's like, mm. and you sort of want to watch a little bit more and a little bit well, more. Well, you're talking you're... to the guy who missed a flight because he was watching a replay yes. of the Super Bowl. But a just, replay of the Super but Bowl. But you can lose yourself in these moments. And I did. But to do it all the time, <laughs> though, yeah. full on. But then, also to say, wait, I'm 10 minutes oh, late. You and can't then do that. that. That's and lying. Then be, yeah, that's be, lying. be honest, yeah. Thanks, Katrina. Hi, Monique. Hi, Monique. Hi, Monica. Hi. Hi. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Okay. That uh, that's my middle name, Monica. Um, so, uh, who's the late person? My oldest daughter. Yes, okay. Talk us She's through it. She's chronically she late, yeah. but this one just blew me off. So, only her 25th birthday, we said, what would you like to do for your birthday? Then she says, oh, if you book a high tea at the city restaurant in Perth City, yeah. be, that would be good. Oh, yeah, high tea, so yes. yes. Yeah, so we get our all female uh, relatives together, we put money together, then we book this high tea. Yep. <laughs> so we were booked for three. So, you know, it's serious for in there, either three to five or one to three. Yes. It's two hours. It's yeah. a limited time, so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we get there, we were all dressed up, you know, and we get there, and she's not there. So we texted her, hey, where are you? She says, oh, I'm almost there. So we, we the, the tea is saved. Are you still waiting for someone? We're like, yeah, we are waiting for the birthday girl. Then everything goes and everything is saved. Where are you? I'm almost there. Yeah. Until our slot is over, we finish. <laughs> Two hours. And then we, yeah, she didn't come. She didn't turn up. She didn't turn up. <laughs> Did okay, you get all the food day. and stuff? What happened? We we ate all the food. We we just Good. had to eat. It was six of us, so we just had to eat. So as we were leaving, we are in the car, car park. The car park is the serious one. This underground. Yes. yes. So we get yeah, we get there and we see her. Pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you she joking, Monica? Her own birthday. And she's like, oh, how nice of them to come down to walk me in. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, Are you for real? And then she's like, Oh, you know, when I said I was having my eyelashes done, when I said 10 minutes, and then the lady did this, and I'm like, There's your gift. We'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Monica, Good on you, Monica. Monica, when it's your daughter and she does that, do you feel a little bit like you failed as a mother? I, I stopped feeling like that okay, because. Good. 
when she was growing up, up to about 16, because I managed her, like, if, if I say, let's go to the city, and she's not ready, I'm like, okay, I'm going. Then she'll rush to the car with her makeup in the hand, yeah. with her shoes in one hand, <laughs> and then she's dressing up in the car and next to it, yes. whatever. You did but your bit, school, yeah. I did my best. Mm. And guess what? She's the nurse, and I've just always she's wanted to it's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh, thanks, Monica. Uh, and finish off, Rebecca in Two Rocks. Hi, Beck. Hi, how are you? Uh, Good, Rebecca. Beck. Who's the late one in your life? Uh, it's my brother. Mm. Tell us all about him. Uh, he missed my entire wedding ceremony <gasps> and walked up halfway through the reception. Okay, no. so why? What was the reason? Um, he was getting a haircut and went and bought a new shirt. <laughs> well, like I totally get it. That's a 20-minute exercise. Yeah, for the wedding that he missed. Yeah. yeah, but he was supposed to help walk me down the aisle. Oh. So, um, luckily, I had my mum and everything, but yeah. yeah, late to everything. So when you've got wedding, a role in the wedding. It. So, Rebecca, when he, did you bring this up? I mean, I mean, you don't want to be too flustered like, at your wedding day. Up, he rocked up and I was like, oh, glad you could finally make it, like... You missed it, but <laughs> glad you're here now. So I had a haircut and then buying a, a buying shirt. shirt. Yes. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know how a haircut and buying a shirt no. takes like three hours. Well, no, you know, know what? what? It's you know twenty what? minutes. No, Rebecca, none of us do. Yeah. No. And also the timing of it. Was it was it a was it a spectacular shirt? How good was the shirt? It was not even that great. It was like this plain lavender colour shirt. Yeah, no, I was like, I've, been shirt, move, I've been shirt shopping with Sean McManus yeah. and it is a bit of a painful exercise. Sean, I'll be if I, Sean you'd buy a lavender shirt, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, he's probably got one, have you? Yeah. Have. Pot puree. Any, any colour that's Pot puree. puree. It's not pot puree. <laughs> you know, with the different colours of yeah, florals. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, pick a winner. Okay, great stuff, everyone. Three hundred dollars to spend at Morris Mead. Book now and get fifty dollars off or of three or more Kerastars products. Monica with her daughter being Monica. late. We love You're you, Monica. Delight. Thank Monica. you. This is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Welcome back, oh our gosh. old friend. He's been travelling the world, Dave Callan. Oh, well, hello there. How are your sea legs? You all right? Yeah, they're good. So yeah. when we last spoke, you, yep. you were working the cruise ships. Yeah, I was working on the cruise ships for uh, several months in a row because yep. they yeah. just came yep. back yep. and um, there was lots of work on there. Hmm. Um, and I did promise to you folks that I would get hot and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to get hot. I just ate the buffet the whole time. Cause you, no, you did, because no, you, you said you were going to go to the gym and get fit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have your hot girl summer. Didn't I promise? Yeah. The hot David summer. Sorry, didn't I thought this was your revenge body. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's oh, well. very good. This is, my, this is my winter body <laughs> yeah. after, after Dave, eating the buffet for seven months. Dave, I've got to admit, I think that's everyone's first thing when they go on holidays yes. and they're staying at a hotel, there's always a nice gym there. Mm. They've got yoga and all yeah. this stuff happening. All the, and it, the day one, you're like, yep, yeah, I'm into it. Day two, maybe 45. Five minutes instead of an hour, and after yeah. that, day three hey, cocktails. How long did you last? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, exactly that one day. Yeah. Hey, I want to talk about the buffet, right? Okay, let's, I definitely do. Okay, so you're going to give us a boring answer because you're a dumb vego. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> all right, so firstly, you're, what is the one thing that you that, that you went back to that buffet for each time? Like, oh, yeah. You, did you find a favourite dish? Yeah, there was a, a pumpkin soup. Doesn't that sound <laughs> terrible? I love a pumpkin but I, soup. Do you love a pumpkin I soup? I love a pumpkin soup. I mean, soup. Yeah, 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 but I'd yeah. never be my favourite dish at a buffet. And so then there was, there was this lovely, lovely crusty bread with... Yeah. Cheese on the bread as well. Like cheesy and I bread. Just would dip that into the. And then I, I thought it was quite a healthy choice. And then I kind of looked at the oil slick on top of the <laughs> on top of the soup, and I'm like, oh, maybe not. So what was what was popular with everyone else? Um, did you see, or you're just looking at all your eggplants uh, and stuff? Yeah, egg, eggplants popular with the veggies. I don't like it personally. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. what about the non veggies Were they oh, like because yeah. you know when everyone holidays, mm. um, people are just they've got one eye on their family and one yeah. eye on the bacon on the, or, or yeah. on the pile of prawns. Yeah, yeah. Odd seafood was massive yeah. on on a ship. Yeah, definitely. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I wouldn't trust out of everything the seafood on a ship. But yeah, yeah, in the oh, sea. Yeah, you're in the sea. <laughs> well, it's it's fairly close to the the area where the seafood yes. comes from. So <laughs> Tell I me think, more. What do you mean? Oh yeah, no, I'm very intellectual. Um, <laughs> you've learned you've learned a lot from yeah, the open seas. I know. It's like deck eleven is the buffet. Deck minus one is where the seafood is. <laughs> Dave, I had ten eggs Benedicts in a row. Ten what? days of eggs Benedict. It's oh, yeah. N Bene- oh. Sean. It's N Bene- It's eggs Benedict. Oh, oh, when there's multiple. 
Brisbane's multiple. I thought, I thought you meant you had ten oh, uh, in one sitting. No, 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 yeah, no. no, no every day. Oh, oh wow! Because Nathan always, when we have breakfast, yeah. he orders eggs Benedict. Eggs and when Benny. it was optional, I thought, oh, I have a go at this. This is the Morris in me, and then I continued for ten days. Wait, you had something else as well, didn't you? Chocolate croissants. Did they not oh, have a? Croissant. Did oh, they yeah. not have an omelet station? I love an omelet no, station. I didn't get into it this year now. Oh. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, it was the eggs Benedict. That was the yeah. reason. Once I was right. committed, I was committed. So we want to know: Did you find love on the seas? Because we thought you would. No, um, I'm oh. very confused about what's appropriate and what's not. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, um, do you know what I mean? No, no, oh, okay, I don't mean so in general. I mean on the ship. So, so in you're general, worried about about fraternising with the guests <laughs> with a no oh, go, no. or what about with the with your clown? Clowns and balloon people and stuff with uh, yeah, we I, the other I, staff. I stay well away from the clowns and the balloon people. <laughs> you became really good friends with the band, didn't you? The band yes. guys? Oh, yeah, the, the rock and roll band, yeah. Yes. And, the, and the lady on the piano? The lady on the piano from Scotland, she was great as well, yeah. Yeah, the but no love, band. no romance. Uh, it, I'm, I'm not sure if it's appropriate because you're not allowed to fraternise with the guests or do yes. any flirting or anything. Yeah. And then with the people who live on board, I think it's best to just keep your head down and do your work okay, as well. Yeah, so right. the answer is no, oh. but I'm still um, a very lovely person. You are a very <laughs> lovely person. Did your little band friends, did they disembark? Um, were they there for the entire trip? They, they left after two months. It's very sad because oh. people come and go and, and you miss them when they've gone. Yes. You know, so who was you your new friends? a great friends? old time. Um, I was friends with um, the juggler guy. Yes. Who yeah, yeah, would juggle it. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, then also I got to be friends with... The In Excess cover band. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, yeah. I would the, have loved that. Yeah, the Michael Hutchins guy yeah. is really lovely. Yeah. Um, and he was, was always telling you that he needs you tonight. So yeah, you know. he, he would <laughs> consistently let me know about that. And then the Kirk guy was also good. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is your friend. This is your friend. Oh, Dave was there. You were there. <laughs> I certainly was. <laughs> Dave, do you work on any other new material when you're when you're performing the same thing day in day out? Yeah, I really love the the fact that you can make fun of the stuff that's happening on a daily basis, yeah, and the sure. people in, you know watching the show get it. You know, stuff like. Um, a lot of buffet humour. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of buffet humour. Stuff that's, that everyone knows about ships, like, you know, if the ship is going to, uh, you know, crash or go down... It's... Oh, they must love you joking about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the um, the powers that be are very excited about that sort of thing. Yeah. But it's, it's women and children first, and I joke about how the men are probably at the life rafts going, we could just get in, but we have to wait for the ones that take the longest to get rid <laughs> That is so true. Hurry up, it's sinking. Five more minutes. <laughs> I'm ready. Just no, getting the kids' lunch boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use that? That was good. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so after that, you finished your tour. What did you do then? Oh, um, so I stacked a bit of paper. I got that bag, as the kids say, and then um, that means make money, I think. Oh, yeah, right, I'm not yes. sure. I might be saying the wrong thing. So, so then I thought, uh, I'll go to England for a yes. bit, and Ireland, and so I had a cousin's wedding on the 6th of May, the same day as the coronation, so oh, great. it took a while to get there, and then uh, after that I just stuck around, and I just saw loads of bands, I saw The Who... The Depeche Mode, I saw Blur, I saw Pulp. Yeah. And um, so I had a great old, had the holiday of a lifetime. So we found out that you went to a whole bunch of shows. You yeah. really do love going to a live um, music show, but one of them I in do. particular I've heard about. Oh, oh, you yeah. say live music show. When, oh, you're and right. I, I pose the question, is it? Oh, dot, dot, dot. Right. What did you see? I saw the holographic Abbas. <laughs> Ab- ABBA hologram show, people. Yes. It's called ABBA Voyager, and it's like ABBA aren't even there. They turned up to the first ever one about a year and a bit ago. Yeah. And then they turned up to the one-year anniversary. Other than that, they just do the, let the holographs do all the hard lifting. So the, hologram. the holograms, are they yeah. really that? Because I've seen those when they present someone on the Oscars or the Grammys or whatever, yes. and they use that hologram thing. Yeah. And I always think, how much is that? Is TV trickery and how much is yeah. live? So what, is, what are they like? Well, you know, much like when you lose a sense, every other sense compensates by being much better. Because ABBA aren't there, everything else is really amazing. Like, you've got this then, amazing lighting rig, you've got these great holograms, and you do feel like they're there, but sometimes they disappear. And then they... Isn't it just like listening to an album? What they've done is they've got the original <laughs> vocals from uh, the original uh, from album ba- cuts, and then they've got a live band, 10-piece band, which are great, and they do all the music live. Are yeah. they are in the foreground or the background, that live band? They're, they're off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're shunted you're, off. You're, you can't confuse yeah. the hologram. Well, I, I, and 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 the, and the like. The main headline is something that you plug into a PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, it's it's like one of those novelty things with the the sparkling, the yeah, sparkling it, rotating it thing. It sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. Do the holo- does the hologram try to make it? A- 
do they uh, how do they, do they move engage? Around? Yeah, do, yeah, how do they engage with the audience? Do they have oh, banter? Yeah, that's the best part. They do awkward banter, but it's pre-recorded, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, hello, London, how are you? And then London goes wild at a different amount of time every day, so they can't really know when to come back. And they're like, oh, so are we? I was just saying that to Anyetta the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. But it, this show yeah. is massively popular, isn't it? It's, it's selling popular. out all the time. Yeah, every day is seven shows a week. They're running these holograms ragged. I reckon <laughs> they're, they're going to be the first AI to Holographic go sentient. Runs. <laughs> yeah, and, and go to get, get us some sort of like... So do you think the ABBA holograms are going to be the ones that kick off Skynet? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they, well, it'll be halfway through money, money, money. They'll go, Yes. I wouldn't have to work at all. I'd fool around and have a ball. Wait a minute. And they'll be at the front standing on the skulls of Karen's. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. The Abinators are on a rampage. <laughs> and we won't be able to stop them. Oh, well, that oh. is... Um, um, no. Nah. I and so you imagine the years. money they're making it yeah, in, yeah. They're not even from now. not even they don't have to do anything. Yeah, crazy, crazy they're just staying home. Amazing. And yeah. did you know next year, 2024? I don't know if you know your numbers, but it is. Um, it's the the 50 year anniversary of ABBA winning uh, at uh, Eurovision. Eurovision. So with mm. Waterloo uh, in in 2024. So 50 years, they've been asked, "Are you going to come back?" Because yes. Sweden are hosting it next yes, year. Yes, of course. Yes. So it has to happen, really, don't you think? Well, yeah, they, most definitely. They, they, they're not. Gonna yeah, do it. They're going to send hey, their hologram. It looks, looks really, really good. good. Yeah, it actually is. To, to be honest, I was very impressed. Were you rocking out? You can see I was, through I was them. loving it. I was actually <laughs> loving it. You do have to like ABBA quite a bit. Yes. But it's good. It's kind of like Mamma Mom, Mia yeah. without the plot. Yes. I, <laughs> from, from, just, from, from just looking at this video, this promotional video there, it's um, yeah. like every man there seems to be a homosexual. <laughs> yeah, but it is big, big among the Karens and the gays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, very, very much so. Yeah. But, and, and me for some reason. And I'm, and I'm really on. into it as well. But the thing is, like, it was a really um, emotional experience seeing them live, if you love them, which I do. And then... Just the the amount of lasers that are going yes. on and lighting. You see yourself so it's a visual in that clip. Spectacular. They won't let anybody film it though. They're like no. they want to keep the secret and the the engagement for people who are there live. So they absolutely there was people running up and down yelling at people to stop filming. Oh, really? hilarious! Yeah, which was now, incredible. so you so you went to that. You went to the ABBA hologram show. I did, yeah. And then you went to WWE SmackDown. Oh yeah, I did. Now you are Sean. a contradiction. <laughs> I know. Who does that? Who's in that Venn diagram? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> oh, That's just nobody. one hairy yeah. Irishman. Yeah. So the That's reason right, yeah. why we know you're there yeah. was because Rove had put it on his Instagram. He has yeah. been watching, because as we know, he's a mad wrestling fan. Mm, he yeah. spotted you in the crowd, Dave. Yeah, I was in the third row. I was very lucky, because when you're travelling on your own as a big loser, you get you get like, the single tickets are usually yes. quite good. Oh. So, <laughs> Are they really? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you can get like one ticket right up the front yeah. of most things. So I went along to SmackDown, and it was great. So Rove, yeah, he saw, he saw he took screenshots every time I popped up. Yeah, and it's he on his Instagram. Me. There's like about five or six yes. of them. I guess you look quite sinister there lurking yeah, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, God, you're a puzzle. And what was it like? Uh, like? What was yeah. WWE Smackdown like? Did you love it? Yeah, it was great. It, it's funny Were you because... singing Mamma Mia while you were watching it? Yeah, basically. <laughs> would you yeah. want to see those guys fight the holograms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. That'd be amazing. Would you go to a hologram Brilliant. wrestling show? Uh, well, it's see, just as real as the other ones. I was... I was <laughs> Hey, I, was, I was talking to people about this the other day, like what other band or or entertainment could do, do holograms and then stay at home? Stand up, probably not. And I, I couldn't think of anything. I don't. Adult know, films, you, you folks. <laughs> adult films. Are, are you kidding me? If you could have that in your house and that be happening in your lounge room, <laughs> right near your ottoman, like, but, Sean, you would have ten of them. <laughs> Not going to deny it. About it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure yeah. how Kathy and Terry yeah. and Armadale yeah. would feel about coming into the lounge room no. and seeing that. All we need to do is we just need to get the technology cheap enough to sell at JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> it's only a go. matter of time. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.